All right, so I'm currently halfway done with the MCIT online program, and today I just want to share some thoughts and impressions about my progress so far. So as of now, I've recently completed six out of the 10 required courses in order to graduate. Now out of those six courses, I've completed four of the required six core courses, as well as two of the required electives. Now with the core courses, Definitely my favorite course so far has been the data structures and software design course and basically a lot of topics from what data structures should you implement in a certain situation or how can we design better software for reusability and reproducibility and a lot of different topics like that. Overall, I really enjoyed a bunch of the just thinking and kind of conceptual frameworks when you apply or try and do a project, a software project. Even though the class was in Java and I may not use everything that I learned in that class, I still found it very helpful in terms of how do I approach software development as a whole. Now for the electives, I took two electives recently in the last semester and that was blockchains and cryptography and statistics for data science. Now with the blockchains and cryptography course, I was initially interested in it because one, there was a lot of hype around it, but two, I was interested in trying to get into the crypto space, but I generally lost interest over time in the course. And I felt like since everything was at a high level, I didn't really get any new skills or really acquired anything from that class. And my general impression was that you really have to be involved on a project within blockchain technology to really get a good sense and feel of the whole space in general. Now looking back, I would definitely not choose that course and probably save an extra elective and decide later on what to choose. Now as for the other course, Statistics and Data Science, I definitely enjoyed that course a lot. It was very much a survey, but also very deep in both the mathematical and conceptual parts of what's statistical. Uh, algorithms you want to implement, as well as the actual encoding of how do you write that in Python. And in addition to that, you get introduced to a lot of standard libraries that data scientists use, such as NumPy, Pandas, and sklearn. And overall, I highly recommend that class if you're going to take it, especially if you're interested in the data science space, which I myself am interested in. So overall, I've been very much pleased with the selection of courses that I've come across, both in the core and the elective. But definitely one thing to keep in mind, especially since this is an online program and there's not much as dedicated resources and staff as if you were going to an in-person program, many new electives may not be readily available. For example, I was initially interested in a artificial intelligence class that wasn't available for me, I wasn't eligible for, because there is a priority based on who can get in. And even more so, while it's exciting that this program has a lot of new electives, especially pretty much every semester, you do have to juggle and be wary of when you want to graduate with what electives you want to take or when do you want to take this class, maybe before an interview or an internship. So it is quite of a juggle to keep everything in mind. Now moving on to opportunities, that's definitely one of the biggest expectations when coming into the program is trying to secure an opportunity post-graduation. Now, one thing I've been very surprised about is definitely all the opportunities and career transitions that are happening during the program while people are still studying and taking classes. Now, for example, it's not really expected that you take an internship during the program because a lot of people are working full time or they have responsibilities. But for me, I was able to have the chance to have an internship this past summer because of a peer student in the program. And a lot of times, many people in the program, your peers, will post any opportunities that their company is hiring. And that's what I took upon when I saw a chance to apply to a recent data science internship this past summer. So above all, definitely networking has been very helpful and very promising, as well as having a dedicated career advisor in the program who could really help you navigate through the whole career roadmap. Now, moving on to community, one very big worry with an online program is 
is there going to be a connected community where I can connect with my peers or other students and so on. And I can definitely share that I've been very impressed with the community aspect with MCIT Online, whether it's talking to students on Slack or even through classes themselves or even meeting people in person. Now, I just want to say I'm very impressed with the community aspect of MCIT Online. One of the primary points of communication is through Slack, where you get to talk to different people based on common interests or if you're in the same class together or even if you're networking. And I've been able to experience all of those aspects and throughout the program. Now, another common way to actually build community is actually through teaching in a course as a teaching assistant. So I've been able to be a teaching assistant for the intro course and that's really helped me to get to know the other students that are just entering the program, as well as help them and give back to the community. Additionally, you can also participate in hackathons that are hosted by the student association, MOSA. And I got to know some people in a hackathon and we were able to build a project over the weekend that we could put on our resume. And I'm still able to be in contact with them today. Now, finally, Community is not just limited to an online space. I recently was able to meet up in person with other local students who are based in the Philadelphia area. And it was very fun to just get to connect to people in person and get to just really know better all the other students that are participating in the program. So again, I've definitely been impressed with the whole community and there's just so many different ways to connect that I didn't even get to mention. Now, looking forward in terms of future directions, I've been seriously considering delaying my graduation by a whole year. Now, I mentioned that I've completed six out of the 10 courses and I'm still on track to graduate within the next year. But because there's been so many opportunities to connect, to pursue a career option and so many other things, I really want to take more of the time to have just a bit of a slower pace where I could really soak up and really absorb all these opportunities. So for someone who's transitioning into a career in data science, I really wanna take the pace to really learn as much as I can and really prepare for that transition. Because I'm just really thinking, you know, what's the rush? There's so much to learn and so much, so many people to meet. Why try and get done with all that in such an accelerated pace? But anyways, if you're new to this channel, my name is Cedric. I'm currently a master's student in computer science. And on this channel, I talk about my student life and other topics. If you're interested in following, please consider subscribing and please follow me on Instagram if you wanna see more personal updates in my life. But anyways, thank you for watching.